Does it take him days to respond? And has he shown less interest in you, even though he made it totally clear that he is into you? If you find yourself in this situation, then keep watching because I'm going to be unraveling exactly why this happens. I'm going to be naming three super important reasons on why this actually happens. And without further ado, let's jump into it. Hi everyone, my name is Yama Berisheta. I am one of Gretchen's high value women coaches. And today I am going to be naming three reasons why interested men disappear and what you can do about it. Before we jump into this video, make sure that you take the self-awareness test to find out if you're a woman of high or a low value, and you can find that test in the description section below. So reason number one on why interested men disappear is because they want to test you. If a guy has pulled away by not replying to your text, if a guy has pulled away by not replying to your text and leaving you on read for a couple of days, it can be because he is testing you. He might just simply want to know if you double or triple text him. Keep in mind that if you do double or triple text him, it will really show that you are very interested and very keen on him. It's best and the safest to not double or even triple text if he has left you on read. If you pursue him via text, you are literally chasing him. And by doing that, you are taking the challenge away. If a guy tells you that he is really interested in you or that he is into you, then most likely he has been um, seeing you as a challenge and has been pursuing you. And if the relationship or the starting phase of a relationship is going well and he might be showing less interest by not replying as quickly or might he might be leaving you on read whatever you do don't start pursuing him and chasing him basically it is possible that he is doing this on purpose and he is playing a type of game to see if you will really start chasing him and if you would, in a way, start acting low value. Men sometimes do these type of types of tests to basically get a sort of ego stroke. If you feel like he is, in a way, just testing you or playing a game, then for sure, don't fall into the trap. And if you have been acting high value, continue to do that. And don't worry if he said to you that he's super, super interested in, in you and he really, really spe likes spending time with you. And if he disappears for a day or two or might not reply to your texts, don't worry about it, especially if he told you beforehand, a while ago maybe, that he's interested in you. It might just be a game to see if you are going to start pursuing him. So whatever you do, don't do that and don't worry. Men do these types of games just to see how you will react and simply just to find out how interested you are in them and to see if this type of stuff works with you. So that was reason number one on why men do these types of things. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that right now by clicking the red subscription button down below. Reason number two might simply be because he is just really busy or maybe something bad happened in his own personal life. It's important not to jump into the scenario of, oh my gosh, it's happened again, a guy started liking me and he just disappeared and I've ruined it or I've done something. You know, let's never jump to that scenario. Let's try and control our emotions and not overdo what has actually happened and not jump to conclusions straight away. A lot of the time I have noticed, especially if a woman has been acting high value, right? She hasn't chased him. She let him pursue her. She's been treating him. Uh, he's been treating her well and he has just pulled away or not replied that often to the text that she sent anymore 
or has maybe not called that often. It is definitely possible that he's just really stressed out at work, maybe has family issues, or is just super, super busy with something. The fact is, when a man is really stressed out, or when he does have some problems, then he will naturally pull away into his so-called cave, or just to basically take time for himself and to solve the issues that he has. Especially if he has actually mentioned that he is stressed or that he does have a lot of things on his plate and pulls away, then definitely don't worry. Just let him be because if he's a good guy and he's not lying about this, he will simply come around when he has solved this problem. So in this case, it really does help to be patient and to just see how it goes. This is one of the reasons why a man shows less interest. And I think this reason is very often overlooked. And I remember talking to clients and even friends who were worried that their guys are showing them less attention. And at the end of the day, and they were all acting high value, right? And at the end of the day, the men were simply really busy or they had a lot to do with work. Especially when it comes down to women who are married or women who are in a relationship. If a guy shows you less interest, but there has not been a fight going on, everything seems fine, but he just seems consumed in his thoughts, then it means he has something on his mind. The best thing that you can do in this case is to really give him space. One of the things that I really do want to mention is, for example, if you find yourself in a healthy relationship and in a healthy marriage, right, and everything is going well and you are acting high value and the relationship is going well, but he just seems less interested or he just seems like he has distanced himself in his own thoughts and he might not be communicating with you that much anymore and if the relationship is going well or even if you might be living together you can ask him um are you okay you know just if you guys are in a conversation like how's everything been with you are you okay and a lot of the time if the relationship is going well the guy might say, yeah, I've just been stressed. And if you get that answer, this is one of the reasons why he would show less interest in your life and he would pull away um, in a way because he has a problem to solve. So his attention is going on to that problem solving stage. And when men solve problems, they don't talk about their problems unless they are really looking for a solution, right? And for the most part, most men won't ask for help when they are solving a problem unless it's someone, most likely another man, who really knows his stuff when it comes to that specific problem. So if he doesn't talk to you about whatever might be going on, don't be upset about that it is actually normal for men. Reason number three might be that you acted low value. If a guy told you that he is interested in you, it does not mean that you can stop acting high value. If a guy shows you his interest or tells you that he is interested, it's a sign that you are doing everything correctly and that you should continue doing that. If you have been acting high value and the guy says that he likes you, then just continue acting high value on whatever you do. Do not start acting low value. And if you really just fell for him when he said that he does really like you and you are actually in love with the guy almost, and even if you felt that you did act a little bit low value, like you call him first, maybe more than you definitely should, or double text sometimes. And if you have seen yourself doing that, especially in the starting stages, um, 
of the relationship, then definitely don't continue in that pattern and start acting the high value way. Don't fall into um, the pursuing him or really just running after him. Okay, that's that's that potentially can really ruin the relationship. And by low value traits, I really want to make sure that you ladies know exactly what I mean. So these are the low value traits that I am talking about. For example, you told him you love him first. And again, you're in the starting stages of the relationship, for example. Or he showed you interest and you ended up inviting him to your house and cooked this three-course meal for him simply because he let you know that he is interested in you. So when you find out that he's interested in you, don't overdo it. Continue doing everything that you have done and don't take it as a ticket to really start wearing your heart on your sleeve. Instead, stay consistent with what you do. And it really is in the small things like it always has been. Don't change a running, a working system, especially when it comes down to being high value. Have you, for example, stopped going out with your friends? in order to spend more time with him? And has he picked up on that? If he has, then it is one of the reasons why he has potentially disappeared after he has shown interest. Maybe after him really showing you that he's interested in you, have you then jumped into bed with him? Well, if that was the case, then this can really be another reason why he has disappeared. If you see yourself in what I'm saying, and if you in any way have acted low value, then think about what it was that you did and try to analyze that. Consider for yourself what you can do instead and how you specifically can start acting high value. If you have started acting low value, you have taken the chase away from him and the chase is totally his, his job, so it's like taking his job away. This is one of the main reasons why men disappear. Men don't think like women do. It is very important to understand that. Women might think if I do this or that, or if I overdo it, then he will fall in love with me. Very often women do overgive and men are simply not worthy of it. If you overgive to a man, he will simply not fall in love with you because that is not what his love need is. A man's love need is not to be cherished. That is a woman's love need. A man's love need is uncertainty. So keep that in mind. And again, if you haven't subscribed, then make sure you do that right now by clicking the subscribe button below. Whatever the reason might be that he has disappeared on you or has shown less interest, one of the really good things that you can do either way if you are married, in a relationship, or if you're in the early starting stages, act high value. If you really do see yourself in one of the three reasons that I mentioned, the end key answer to this is to, even if you, for whatever reason, because maybe you really did fall in love or you saw his interest as a sign that it is okay to lower your guard, um, put your guard back up, continue acting or start acting high value again, and if he does pull away, whatever you do, do not text him or communicate to him. What did I do wrong? Why did you pull away? Is it my fault again? I thought you liked me. Don't do any of these things, right? The only thing that you can do is if he pulls away, he pulls away. It's his decision. He made that decision, right? You continue living your life and when he shows up into your life, you can even distance yourself emotionally a little bit to see how he will react. If he pulls away, it gives him time to miss you. 
and men fall in love more when there is distance okay i've mentioned this a couple of times in other videos and it is very important to keep in mind if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to Greta's youtube channel down below if you like this video let us know what you like the most in the comment section down below Join Greta's free high-value Facebook group where you learn how to bring out the best in your man. Sorry for the disturbance. And if you would like to know how to stay attractive via text, what games men play on women, how to control your emotions, how to get your ex back, how to love yourself, or maybe you have a hobby that you want to turn into an online business, well, Greta has all of these videos and more up for sale on her website and you can find the link in the description section below. And if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, Greta or any of her team members, then make sure to check out Greta's website that you can find in the description section as well. Also, if you don't follow Greta on Instagram, her Insta is ladies relationship coach. So make sure to give her a follow. And that's pretty much it, ladies. Me and Bella hope you enjoyed the video. Can't wait to see you next time.